I think council colleagues uh, during public comment, a number of these folks in these lovely black shirts out there um, spoke very articulately about the need for the elevator to provide access. And this is a not only an ADA approved, but just from all ages and abilities that we are promoting, making sure that, that buildings like this, which are such a community gem, have access and they're available to when you talked about the grandparents that want to come and see the concerts or to see the dance re recitals. So uh, I'm a fan of this. I would like to move forward uh, with amendment number eight. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, Abel, did you want to speak to it because it's your well, district and... I just, one, I didn't want to speak to it, but two, uh, I wanted to clarify with you, Madam Chair, um, because one, uh, my district office is inside the University Heights Center. Do I abstain? No, <laughs> okay. you're fine. Uh, no, but I do want to speak to the University Heights Center. The University Heights Center is not just where uh, it's been a community treasure for District 4, but also for, the, for Northeast Seattle. And so I, I've, this is one of the first uh, requests that we had received in our office with regards to the importance of it. And so I'm really excited to support this. And Very good. Uh, thank thank uh, Councilmember Mosqueda as well for her work on, on this too. Right. Um, and during public comment, um, one of our speakers talked about a little girl who was in a program and couldn't get up in the lift because the lift was broken and had to literally crawl up the stairs um, multiple times. I mean, it just breaks your heart to even imagine that vision. Um, we're moving forward with this. Um, I'll take a vote again. Abel, thank you for speaking. Councilmember Mosqueda, do you have some other comments? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I just want to, again, thank you for your uh, the opportunity to include this in the supplemental budget. Uh, we've been trying to go out to each district corresponding with the month of the year. So we were in D4 for uh, month four and <laughs> had the chance to meet with the folks at University Heights then and heard about the need for this lift, um, uh, well, for a actual elevator to be included at University Heights. Um, and I was really excited to help work with them and the um, now new representative of District 4 to be able to bring this amendment forward. I think what's important to note as well is that we're working in partnership with some of our state partners um, and our local community partners. They've raised 70 percent of their campaign goal of the 700,000 that's needed and they just have a little bit left to raise so this is an incredibly important way for us to be a good partner from the city to the state with the state and other uh, local partners as well. Um, and I did have the chance to listen to your testimony. I was on my way out here and I heard the story about the individual crawling up the stairs which is just heartbreaking. Um, some of the stories that they all also mentioned when we were meeting, we're talking about how this is um, the lack of an elevator is truly a barrier, not just for people who want to take a class there, but maybe for the grandparents right. and the parents and the siblings that want to come and watch either the kiddos or the parents who've taken part in some of the amazing classes they have there. They host over 160 arts, cultural and education groups each year and are home to the 14 organizations and our good council colleagues office apparently. Um, so wanting to make sure that it's truly accessible and that it's a community um, gem that's accessible to the full community. Uh, we're really excited to bring this forward and just want to also underscore our appreciation for the work that they do to make the space affordable at 50 to 70 percent below market rate for these spaces for our community organizations. To have space in this facility is, is such an important asset to an increasingly expensive city, including for nonprofit organizations, given the cost of retail space in this city. Um, and uh, applaud them for the work that they did last night. Councilmember Pacheco and I had the opportunity to participate in a community forum about what it looks like to have safe parking lots and why it's so important to have this as an additional tool in our toolkit as we try to address getting folks into safe places to sleep at night if they're unsheltered. I think they've shown leadership already with the type of work that they do inside the building and now they're expressing um, an interest in showing leadership for how they use their full space outside the building as well and have been inclusive and um, I think proactive in engaging community um, on what that looks like and why it's important um, across the city. So. Hi. Huge, huge turnout last night. A standing room in the back only, and I appreciate uh, their leadership and excited about this amendment. Really, um, thank you for that. Thank you, both of you. Um, and Councilmember Pacheco, I just want to say it's been a absolute pleasure working with you since you have been brought on the council. I appreciate all you're doing for District Four. Thank you. Good. All right. With that, um, would you like to move this, please? I, I move uh, to... Amendment Number Eight. Amendment Number Eight. Sorry. Very good. Thank you. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 
None opposed, no abstentions. So our University Heights accessibility improvement has passed and that will go in front of the full committee on Monday. Good, and congratulations, big thanks to all of you. All right.